Hello and welcome to Catholic Trends. As you already know, this is the base where we set the pace in Catholic content. I am Ernest Senanudovlo. I'm sure by now you may know about the Divine Word Missionaries, the SVDs or the SMAs. But today this conversation is going to be about the missionaries of Daniel Komboni. Um, if this is the very first time you are hearing about this, then you're most welcome. If you're new here, I would urge you to subscribe to the channel and also um, click on the notification button so that anytime we publish something new, you'll be among the very first people to actually um, know about it. My guest is Reverend Father Anthony Komivi Kondo, MCCJ. He is a Vice Provincial for the Komboni Missionaries in Ghana, Togo, and Benin and today we're talking about the 50th anniversary or 50th anniversary um, of the presence of the missionaries of Gomboni here in Ghana. Father you must welcome to Catholic Trends. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I, 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 the very first time I hear about the Gomboni missionaries I think um, that was in Sugakope you have an institute there, um, Gomboni Technical Institute that's the very first time I, I got to know about the Kombonis, but I haven't really taken time to learn about your congregation and what you do. Father, talk to us about um, who the Komboni missionaries are. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity being given to me. As you have just said, my name is Kondo Komigi Anthony, a Komboni missionary right. working in Ghana. And who are Komboni missionaries? Komboni missionaries are those people who once have uh, listened, heard the call of God in following the footsteps of St. Daniel Komboni, the founder from Italy. Ah. He was born in 1831 and he died here in Africa especially in Khartoum in 1881 50 years and his dream was save Africa to Africans he was even saying that his greatest day of happiness will be when he will lay down his life for Africans. And this uh, dream became true when he died in Khartoum. On his uh, lips were these words, I die, but my words will never die. Wow, indeed. Th this, this is the man um, whose vision and mission has seen a lot of development um, in terms of school, in terms of um, other apostolates. Let's talk about your existence in, in Ghana. How, how did you come here? In fact, it was uh, in 1974 when the companies, they felt the need to reach out to other Africans so that they become the leaders of their own brothers and sisters, especially here in Africa. That was the motivation behind. Because in different parts of the world, especially in Africa, you go to remotest areas, you see that the evangelization is poorly carried out. Some even they do not know God, or some they find it very hard to go to these remotest areas. Yet, Komboni was saying also that those people, they are created the image of God, loved by God, and for, the, for that reason, they deserve also to know about God in a very profound way, so as to be able to live out the faith that they have received from the first missionaries. Right. Father, many, many missionaries have charisms that they, they operate with. What is that of the missionaries of Komboni? Our charism is 
first evangelization. Right. Meaning to carry out the evangelization to the most abandoned and the poor. As I was saying, to the places where other people define that very, it's very difficult, very hard to reach. And it is really challenging. That is why when we reach a certain area, the first thing to be done is to learn the local language, ah. to be with the people, to familiarize with the language of the people, the culture of the people, and from there to move forward towards human promotion and evangelization. This is what motivates our work also here in Ghana, especially in Volta region, where we have been and carried out work of education in schools, hospitals, churches, in many of uh, Volta region areas. And once uh, the church has reached a certain level that they are able to sustain themselves and then it's uh, being handed over to the local church and then you move to other places where there is more need. Mm. Right. So 50 years of existence in Ghana, um, you mentioned your work in the Volta region and all that. But beyond these, what have you been doing? Yeah. Beyond Volta region, I can also say that uh, currently we are working in Accra. We have a parish in Accra, and then we have also a formation house in Accra. We are also present in Cape Coast. We have a parish in Cape Coast. We have also um, a formation house, Theologate, in, in Cape Coast. We are also helping how to bring up our own people in the field of education in a very intimate, close relationship with the leadership of schools and monitoring to them, giving any kind of help, spiritual help, especially material help in terms of structure and also our expertise, our skills in terms of teaching. Right. Let's come down now to your 50th anniversary celebration. Um, what do we need to know about, about this? In fact, it is for us uh, a great honor right. that uh, we are celebrating our 50 years of presence in Ghana. Honor and praise to be given to God. Because seeing the challenges that our world of today present to us, who can stand, who can say, I was able to carry out this one by, own, by my own strength. No. It's a, by God's grace. Okay, yeah. And we are very, very grateful for, for that one. That is why to celebrate the 50 years of presence in Ghana, we are going to have a conference in Mafi Kumase, Volta region, where in fact we are more known, where we started our missionary presence. And this conference will be given by our major superior, Father Tesfaya, who will come all the way from Rome to help us to reflect again, to see how we can actualize the dream of Komboni here and now in Ghana. Our vision where we want to head to and what are the means that you have to put in place so that uh, our presence may become more meaningful here in Ghana and beyond Ghana. But, but has the anniversary been launched already? If, if no, when are we launching it and what are the various activities aside the conference that you are having in Mafikumase? Good question. I can even say that today as I'm speaking, is the day of launching of uh, our 50 years of presence in Ghana, wow. which comes to be the day of birth of Komboni. Interesting. 15 March 1831. Wow. So the climax will be on the 26th April 
20, 2024 in Accra with uh, a holy mass of thanksgiving to God. Hopefully, will be presided by our Archbishop Bonaventure and all dignitaries, local chief, faithful people, those who feel that they are Africans and then they have a responsibility of becoming the leaders of their own brothers and sisters, all are invited to this celebration of thanksgiving to god but you mentioned that the world is becoming challenging um i'm also sure that you may have gone through some challenges getting through to where you are now 50 years residence in ghana looking at all the projects that you're embarking upon you mentioned uh, mafia kumasi is that where you have the the home for the um physically challenged in fact i can say that in my father's house we have also a house for disabled people. That's in Abo. In Abo. Okay. Yeah. And there also we have education. Uh, we have also school. Those people rejected or who are not wanted by their own parents. We find that it is our own responsibility to go and attend to them to make them understand that unconditionally they are loved by God. And if you go today to Abo, in my father's house, you will find them there. In fact, that is the reason why the name is put in my father's house. In my father's house, there is a place for everybody, regardless of what has been your background, what you have gone through, yet your father is there. Go there and you meet him. Right. Father, your, your primary focus is reaching out to the remotest um, communities with primary evangelization. What are some of the challenges that you've encountered? As I was saying, the first evangelization, of course, the, the challenges are there because it's a place or uh, there are places where no one would like to go. This is the first challenge. Okay. And meaning that you should be ready to find yourself in this place where maybe there is no proper housing, clean water, no electricity. And this has been some of the challenges that I personally have been through, that many of our missionaries are, are, are being, are, are being through. The second challenge is the local language. Ah. As I was saying, we are missionaries, and then we have many Ghanaians who have become Komboni and they are in Working different parts of the world. Outside of Ghana. Yeah, outside of, the Ghana, outside of Ghana. What are they doing? The work of to. God. Meaning that uh, you have to learn the lo local language if you don't put aside your own culture and to be able to learn a new culture a new language and then your activity your pastoral activity will be very poor carried out and then there you are going against the dream of Komboni, which is save africa through africans africa. that's that's a very profound statement saving africa through Africans and this is coming from someone who isn't African very profound there but father before we leave I'm sure listening to you someone may be interested in in becoming a Komboni missionary how, how do they reach you in fact we have uh, a vocation promoter who is here in Accra okay or you can even go to our website, Komboni Missionary in Ghana. You will find all the details there where you can contact any Komboni who will be ever ready to help you in this line. Right, so there you had him. That's the Vice Provincial for the Komboni Missionaries for Ghana, Togo, and Benin. And it, we've been talking about the 50th anniversary of the missionaries of St. Daniel Komboni and they they have their charism 
as um, primary evangelization as their 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 main charism but they are also very focused on saving africa through africans and so um, if you're out there watching me you're an african you need to be on board um if you do not join the missionaries of sender nokomboni you can even support with your resources or your words for encouragement or any other thing and you'll be greatly blessed that's what time will permit us but i would urge you to subscribe to the channel and share this video thank you so much i'll be back and i'll see you some other time